In Matthew chapter 6, the scripture says, Give us our daily bread. In the scriptures, daily bread means necessary food, necessary bread. Each day of your life, you will face challenges that are unique for each of the day. So every day you wake up, instead of scrolling on social media, instead of going to your stories to watch and feed yourself, because whether you know it or not, your soul is feeding off everything you are reading, your soul is feeding off everything you are watching, your soul is feeding off everything you are hearing. So if you cannot guard your ear gate, your eye gate, if you cannot guard these things, it's going to affect you. Because with time, you are going to replicate these things without even knowing that you have taken in things that you shouldn't have taken in. It's just like being hungry and you just see a fast food that you don't even know and you branch and take anything, pick all the junks you can take. Before you know it, it will give you a troubling running stomach and it's going to bring issues to you. Sometimes I've heard people say, I ate in that place and I felt sick for days. I had to go on medication. It happens and that is what happens to our soul most of the time because we do not even know but we keep feeding from places we cannot trust. We keep feeding from pots we cannot trust and because of this, it chokes our soul. And scripture says, pray like this, God give me my daily bread. Give me what is necessary for me. And that makes you take responsibility. You have to go to God every day so that you can get this daily bread from Him. As you wake up, let God be the person you run to. Let God be the person you go to. God, I need my daily bread. You're my father, I trust you. So from today, you can make up your mind. Instead of the jumps on TV, the news, the fears that you can take in, instead of all these things that can actually make your soul to be burdened and sap your energy, I can actually go to God and make sure that I'm well fed, that I'm full before I move out because I need this energy for my day. For me to be able to number my day, to account for my day, I need this energy. I need to be in full capacity as I'm moving out because I'm going to meet people that will be irritating. I'm going to meet people who will try my patience. I'm going to meet people who will try me and I need to be in full capacity so that my response will not go wayward. And this is a call to be intentional with your intake. Whatever I'm reading should be wholesome. Whatever I'm listening to should be wholesome. Whatever I'm watching should be wholesome. Because, for example, if you keep on feeding yourself with a romantic movie and you are about to practice purity with God in your relationship with Him, my dear, you are putting yourself up for a lot of temptation. I'm not saying you shouldn't watch it, but if that's all you want to feed yourself with, then you have to deal with the feelings of you feeling always like getting to do something. You have to deal with the temptations that are going to come because this is what you're feeding off of and this is what can come out of your soul. Because if you doubt it, why do you watch a romantic movie and you have an arousal when you did not even have that in mind? It's because whatever you watch is powerful. It is sending signals to your mind, to your brain, to your hormones, to your emotions. So it's telling you what I feed my soul is even most important. So if you could take so much time trying to plan your diet, trying to eat right, eat right down here, eat right. In Psalms 42, David says, as the deer longs for streams of living water, so my soul longs for the living God. I thirst for God, the living God. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my savior and my God.